Hello YouTube, I'm in a studio here, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at a mock of mine. Uh, this is actually a mock based off of episode 9, uh, The Rise of Skywalker, so spoiler alert if you haven't seen that one. Uh, it's a pretty decent movie. Uh, but um, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the duel on the Death Star Ruins from episode 9. Uh, we're just going to be taking a look at all the details that I threw in here. Um, and it, this is again, this is a, a really good build that you could do at home. Very simple, very easy if you have the parts to do it. And I recommend doing it if you have them, because uh, it's just a really simple and easy mock that you can do. And um, yeah, so let's just get right into it and just look at some of the uh, finer details that I decided to throw on here. So um, first of all, I do want to note that these figures are not necessarily accurate to the scene. These are the episode 7 versions of the characters, Rey, here, and Finn, of course. Um, both of these characters are from the uh, Duel on the Starkiller base set, so that's a really simple set. If you want both of the uh, these characters here, just easy, nice, pretty cheap way to get them, that's probably the best set to get them right now. Um, now, if you want to get the movie accurate versions, you can obviously get the um, the cheapest set that you can get Kylo in is, of course, the uh, microfighter version of Kylo Ren's uh, uh, command shuttle, and uh, and then of course Ray the Pisana speeder chase right now is the cheapest set. Um, if you don't have that one, you can always get the Night Fighter Two that's coming out uh, later this year. So, but um, this side, this one, to make a quick note that these are not necessarily accurate to the scene. So uh, we're just going to do a quick 360 view of this whole set, so or uh, whole mock. So as you can see, I did use some just regular plain blue uh, studs here, not down right. <laughs> um, just to represent some of the water, I didn't want to use clear studs. I didn't feel the need to make a uh, big deal out of that. And there goes Kylo. I'm falling apart here, guys. <laughs> it's all right. Let me fix these guys real quick. But um. I, I did uh, find this mock pretty simple and easy to do. Again, something you could definitely do at home. And uh, uh, we're just going to, again, run down all the details. So, yeah, as you can see, these are just uh, some of the bigger, thicker bricks that I use just to show the water around the uh, build. And uh, I thought that was a very easy, very simplistic way just to represent the water. Uh, especially if you don't have a ton of clear studs and if you don't have, like, a, a barrier going around this whole... Uh, set or build uh, You can just quickly easy very easy and simple way just use these bigger uh, Blockier studs. It doesn't look near as good, but it definitely represents the scene decently well, and uh, I really don't have any gripe about that so uh, Yeah, and you can see that all these side panels are really just thrown on here. These are not in like a specific way They're really just thrown on here. You have like a rod or two here uh there's a few rods in this, a couple bar pieces that are really just thrown in here, as you can see. Um, there's some ratchet pieces up here, or whatever, these ratchety joints here that I guess kind of sh uh, put on there to show some of the breaking points uh, of the of the Death Star. So, you obviously have like, this would probably be like some sort of fuel cell or something like that. You know, some sort of power unit um, right there. And uh, there are some like gate pieces here. Um, some uh, rods and stuff I'm just kind of broken off I obviously have like a tube here um, right here on this piece the tube and then there's an air vent here as you can see so and then you got a couple uh, rounder more defined aligned uh, pieces here just to represent some of like the fuel cells some of the power uh, things or or uh, like the power generators and stuff like that and these are actually like uh, this is actually like a tire piece so this is actually free and easy to spin and then this is like a one of those really small tire piece like things which I actually have a couple of those on the build here's some of the ratchet joints that I used to show some of the kind of the uh, breakage of the build and then uh, for the most part this is just smooth uh, stuff and then you obviously have this little indention or uh, extension onto the build there's a little gap here, and that's just using some of these uh, kind of seat pieces, I guess, and then one of these front pieces just to kind of finish it off. 
You obviously have one of these uh, kind of grill pieces here. Um, and this is actually just a regular rope. So yeah, I, I thought it would be pretty cool to show like a cable uh, on there. And I thought that would be a really interesting uh, design technique. And that's what I did. And then I also put this little rod, a little pin here, of course, um, to kind of show some of that finer detail. Something sticking out of it, which a lot of this is just stuck. You know, you can see this piece right there. <laughs> kind of feel, feeling for the little camera. Camera's not the best, so uh, you obviously have this little lance. This is a, yeah, this is like a lance from like one of the older night sets. I'm pretty sure. Or uh, maybe even a, uh, I think those might have even been used with the uh, older X Wings too. So, um, and there's obviously some of these like uh, turning pieces, which are there are a couple of those throughout the build, um, and it, it just gives some of that finer detailing in there. And then these are just some panels pieces that are just slapped on there, really simply, really easily. You obviously have a rod right here. Um, some of these pieces are kind of broke off. You can see this clip piece connected to a uh, fencing kind of grill piece which is a very simple easy way to show off some of that finer detailing this is actually one of those a pieces right here um, I don't really know what else to call them they're kind of that a shape and uh, you can use those plug that in like in a pin uh, or a uh, one of those one by one modified pieces and then uh, kind of give it that angle and you don't, again, uh, you don't have to have it on a certain angle. Again, with this kind of build, you didn't have to do that. And it's a very simple, easy way to uh, uh, show some uh, contrast throughout the build. Fall. Some of these parts do fall apart mildly easily, but uh, all in all, still not the worst connection overall. These are some of the... Uh, some just like rope leg spider kind of pieces here. There's a couple of these. This piece is actually just held on by a rod. Uh, it's literally just loose on there. I mean, I thought that would be really cool just kind of show that this part has broken off since it's been there. Um, this part is also loose. Uh, not the best connection here. Uh, it's just connected on by that uh, one by, uh, yeah, one by two. So. Not the best connection there, but it works. If I can get that back on, there we go. Something like that. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, overall, the side paneling, it's really simple and easy ways to do these. And uh, overall, you don't even have to do it in a specific way. So moving on to the top, which is a lot more detailed. I feel like that, that was one of my major points, is to more detail the top. Um, so you have some of these dark gray and lighter gray pieces just mixed in there. Again, some of these pieces that are broke off that still show up on the top. A rod. Of course, you have this, which is a very simple, uh, very, very simple connection. You just put it on one of these round by one, or uh, two by two round tile pieces. Um, and you, you can even do it with uh, a, a square. Uh, they want this the regular squarish one by two and, and still get that that angle out of that. You also have some of these grill, or uh, excuse me, tile pieces uh, and plate pieces just thrown in here. I always see like a mix of color right there, which is pretty cool. And then there's actually just a big, literally a big gaping hole uh, right there. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually just a hole I put in the build. It's kind of like the Millennium Falcon. If you've looked at the Millennium Falcon, you know that there's actually like a few holes in there. And the Millennium Falcon, and yeah, this is just a, a hole right there. So, and this is obviously pieces falling off. Um, <laughs> there's obviously some grill pieces, um, some tan pieces. Uh, this is actually a uh, inverted tile piece. Just put on some of these, uh, these like Technic pieces that here, and uh, that's a very easy, very simple uh, design technique that uh, it can be done very, very easily. So. But uh, yeah, that's my mock here. This is a very, very simple, easy mock to do just at home. I mean, it's really simple. Um, now, a lot of the builds, like for the uh, for the internal, is very, very structurized uh, bricks. And that's very, very easy to do. And you don't even have to fill out the whole thing either. Um, you really just have to fill out the sides and a little bit towards the middle. Other than that, this is a really simple and easy mock to do. And then, of course, you want some... Uh, 
pins and stuff like clips and stuff to hold on to the sides of course and um but yeah i mean other than that this is a really simple and easy mock you can do at home i i really thought this one was a very easy very simple mock to do and overall if you have a desire to do a mock like this uh do it i by all means i mean it's a very very simple and easy thing to do especially if you have the pieces if you have the pieces there's really no excuse for you not to try this one at home and uh yeah i mean it's just a really fun easy mock um so yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say in this video uh if you do plan on watching more of my videos i do have a couple more that i'm going to try and post uh either tomorrow or the next day after that um some war machine mocks iron man you know what have you but uh this is my star wars mock that i've showed here so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i really hope that you guys continue to watch more and more of my videos it really helps the channel grow and i hope you guys like comment and subscribe that really helps again keep the channel growing and uh to become like uh some of the bigger youtubers out there mnr of course just too good ash and flash all of those guys so uh, i really hope you guys like can like the video that really helps again the support uh so i can grow my channel bigger than some of the other youtubers so but yeah that's pretty much hard to say uh hopefully you guys are looking forward to some of the more uh the cooler mocks that i think i have this is a really simple and easy one to do uh just at home so that's pretty much hard to say thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one